Good morning. Today in our daily devotional, we will talk about the fruit of the Holy Spirit in Galatians 5, 22-23, and specifically, long-suffering. Long-suffering. Long-suffering is no longer an everyday word, but it is a virtue needed more than ever when impatience, intolerance, oversensitivity, and impulsive anger are so prevalent. Anger and animosity can be the result of many negative influences. The, even, the evil influence we are all infected with is our own selfish nature. And our human abilities to make major improvements are pitifully weak. We need God's help, especially in this area, long-suffering. In Galatians chapter 5, verses 19 to 21, the Apostle Paul refers to our human nature as the flesh and our selfish tendencies as the works of the flesh. This includes hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambition, dissensions, heresies, envy, murders. Clearly, we need the antidote for these traits, which is God's Spirit. It is God's Spirit. Paul went on to say, but the fruit of the Holy Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. What an amazing contrast. All these beautiful virtues work together and support each other. Think about how long-suffering relates to the other attributes. Long-suffering is virtually the opposite of anger, especially of outburst of wrath. One illustration is when you're on the road or if drivers are on the road, and when a traffic light turns green, some drivers will impatiently honk their horns if the car ahead doesn't, get, doesn't start moving within two seconds. That's impatience, right? That's, uh, that, that's not long-suffering. Even worse is the epidemic of road rage with cursing and actual violence. Many people tend to overreact. They quickly get on the defensive, interpret remarks as attacks, and then strike back. Many people carry a lot of inner anger from their past. Every small hurt or annoyance adds to the storehouse of anger. The slightest provocation brings the anger to the surface and into the open. Anger usually involves a spiteful attitude of retaliation and revenge. But God forbids this. Bless those who persecute you Repay no one evil for evil. Do not avenge yourselves, the Bible tells us. The Bible teaches mercy and forgiveness. People tend to excuse their anger, but most human anger is self-centered and sinful. The wrath of man does not produce the righteousness of God. That's James 1.20. Hardly anyone will admit that hating people but the Bible defines love and hatred largely by people's action. Love is expressed through helping people while hate is demonstrated through harming people. Paul described the behavior of love. Love suffers long and is kind. It does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked thinks no evil that's first corinthians 13 4 to 5. the niv version renders his words this way love is patient love is kind it's not rude it's not self-seeking it's not easily angered 
it keeps no record of wrongs. Our thoughts and attitudes are likewise important, as they are the source of our actions and words. Luke 6.45 says, A good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth good, and an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart brings forth evil. For out of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaks. Therefore, as we end, we should honestly examine our attitudes. Each of us should ask, am I motivated by love, respect, patience, and compassion? Or am I motivated by resentment, contempt, intolerance, and hardness of heart? We should be slow to anger and quick to forgive. Psalm 145.8 says, The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger, and great in mercy. That's why the Lord expects us to be. Consider carefully these wise words about being long-tempered. Proverbs 14.29 he who is slow to wrath has great misunderstanding, but he who is impulsive exalts folly. Proverbs 15, 18 says, A wrathful man stir, stirs up strife, but he who is slow to anger allays contention. And lastly, Proverbs 19, 11, The discretion of a man makes him slow to anger, and his glory is overlook a transgression. May we continue to be patient, to have long-suffering, to practice this fruit of the Holy Spirit in our lives. May this be our discipline in our spiritual lives. May we be slow to anger. May we uh, be not uh, fast in wrath, in dissensions, okay? but always loving always caring, always thinking about what others would uh, need, would say, would want, would feel, okay? Not having the attitude of revenge, but having love, having a behavior that is a Christian behavior that would tell people that we are Christians, that we love God and we love people, and that we want them to know Christ as well. May God bless us all. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for this day. Thank you for teaching us about long-suffering. Thank you, Lord, for your uh, principles, for your lessons that you have given us, and we pray that you would cause us to grow in the fruit of the Holy Spirit, specifically in long-suffering. We pray that we will be slow to anger, but be patient, be understanding to people. Not only to people, but also in uh, everyday life, in things, in circumstances. Help us, Lord, to grow. Forgive us for some, uh, many times we are impatient we are quick to be angry, to be uh, impatient and not being kind and loving. So we pray, Lord, that you would change our heart. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.